going to make an apple tart. I have already started. I've got two cups of sifted flour in a bowl, also half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to cut in two thirds a cup of shortening. So I have my dough here, and I'm going to include the recipe on how to make this down in the description, how to make your pie crust. But right now I'm just going to shape it into a ball. This little bit of dough is going to make two crust, and I'm just going to divide it and roll it out. I'm going to start my two pies. As you can tell, I have them already rolled out and put in the pie tins. These are actual like, pie tin pie tins, but these are little cake plates and they'll work just fine. In this bowl, I have mixed in cinnamon, sugar, and salt, and breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna take this and split this between my two pie pans. So that right now, we have something that looks like this. I have cut up six apples, three for each pie, and peeled them and pared them and put them into the pie dish. Also, I have dotted butter onto the pies, and now it's time to put them into the oven. I just got back home from rehearsal, and Mom had taken the pies out of the oven, and I'll show you what they look like. We now have these really nice baked apple tarts. In the mixing bowl, I have put heavy cream and sugar and nutmeg. Whip that all up, and we're going to divide that up and pour that over our tarts. After pouring in the custard mixture, we have something that looks like this and tastes remotely like eggnog. Anyway, we'll slide those into the oven and I'll show you what we get in a little bit. What I've done is I've taken some apple jelly and I'm going to melt it right here on the stove. The pies are going to come out of the oven and we're going to pour the apple jelly on top of them and then let them cool down. Okay, so we hit the time when the pie should be able to be coming out of the oven, which was 25 minutes of baking time for the custard to set. So I think I might have found the first flaw in the recipe. Now I don't know if that is because the recipe was written in the 1970s, so maybe they were using a different type of oven, maybe even a gas flame. But today's ovens are not quite hot enough to set the custard as fast as it should go. So I've popped the pies back in the oven, gave them another 10 minutes, and we'll see what happens. And here's the finished product. So it ended up taking about 35 minutes to actually bake the pie in the oven. And after trying it, well, I wasn't that pleased. My mom liked it, my dad and I, not so much. Scott later, he'll be the final test try on it. But needless to say, this is not a recipe I will be making again. If you want to try it, I will leave the recipe down in the description and you can let me know what you think. Did you happen to like the salty flavor? Because yes, it was very, very salty. Or was it just not your thing? 